us executing that scheme effectively. A lot of guys said that this was arguably one of the best rosters they've ever been on. What is it that made this group so special? You know, obviously there's a lot of talent on this roster, but there's also just a lot of good guys. And whenever you want to play for someone more than you want to play for yourself, usually good things happen from that. And, and, and I truly think everyone on this team wanted, wanted everyone else to win so badly that they would do anything to make that happen. Thank you, Jake. Thanks. Jake, have you heard any of the Fox <laughs> stories? Do you know much about him? I, I honestly haven't heard a lot about him, but I mean, obviously he's been a very impactful player, person to this organization. So. Yeah, he was a legend. Yeah, you know, he was he was something else. Yeah, yeah. So okay. that's a, that's quite a. I definitely have to look. Honor. Yeah, look look him up later today. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, you're unrestricted, correct? Correct. So, how do you lead this locker room today, feeling about what you've done and what the future holds? Yeah, I mean it's. I mean this place is special. You know, Kyle Shanahan's offense is special. Uh, you know, I think. Uh, Coach Furster is also, you know, a type of guy that I want to be around in the future. It's just, you know, it's got to make sense financially and professionally um, for my family now to, you know, on if we stay stay here or we go somewhere else. I mean, I feel like our our season this year was um, one that I can definitely build off of, and I feel like there's definitely some promising stuff on film to where other teams are going to see kind of how. How well I can play if I'm given the opportunity to, to play. Um, I, mean, I mean, it's 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 been a it's been an uphill battle just because I mean, starting from me being undrafted to then a few injuries with me er, early in my career. You know, those 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 things are in the past. You know, I, I, like I I truthfully feel like my career is just starting right now. Yeah. I'm sure you always felt you were a starter, yeah. but this is the first time you've had an opportunity to really prove it. Mm -hmm. So. Did you feel it? Oh yeah, for sure. You know, I mean, obviously the collective shows that, and the wins show that. But also, I feel like my individual numbers were on on par, if not better, than half of the league. And you know, I I I just feel like it's 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 definitely something that's going to be uh, advantageous in free agency. But we'll definitely see kind of what happens in the next few. Few weeks, months. You talk about uh, numbers. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah, one more. Yeah. What, what numbers are you citing? Is that like team team grades, or is you know we look at PFF? Or yeah, whatever. yeah. What are you citing? Um, I don't really look at all those numbers, yeah. like. But I mean, I, I, I mean, looking at the the numbers that like ESPN uses and stuff like that. There's 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 definitely numbers there, and also PFF. There's 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 numbers there too. Okay. You know, everyone wants to quantify things now. Mm -hmm. um, it's, 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 I don't know why offensive lines like that, but I get it. Yeah. yeah. The, the play that comes to mind for me as a highlight for you was in, Ari in Mexico City against Arizona when you're 40 yards downfield blocking for Debo. Kyle's talked about that. The rest of your teammates have. Yeah. Is that your favorite uh, on-field moment from this year, or, or are there some dark horses as your, as your favorite moment? I would definitely say that, that, uh, that block on Buda Baker would probably be the best one. It's it's just I mean it just shows kind of the the physical attributes that I can bring to the field. Um, just be able to get down down downfield and make plays that others probably aren't going to be able to do. And your pass protection metrics were above average. You see, I know coming out of college you were a lighter, more athletic guy, but obviously you've developed strength to to be good in pass pro. Is there a moment where you anchored against somebody or something that that was a big moment for you in that regard that we may not have noticed? I mean, just 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 in this past game, I mean, Fletcher Cox went directly down the middle on me on an inside stick move, and it wasn't, you know, I mean, I neutralized him enough to get, you know, to get the job done. So I, mean, I just feel like it's that 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 really shouldn't be a question on if I can, you know, stop a bull rush or if I can sit on a pass protection play. I feel like it's there's 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 enough proof now on film that I that I, that I can get the job done. Can you explain one thing for me or for my readers or whatever that you know a lot of criticism was given for the the uh, the pass protection on that play there where Brock was injured, mm -hmm. you know, having a tight end blocking Hassan Red. Mm -hmm. Is that just a common play, like the common pass protection scheme? Can, can, can you kind of explain 
Yeah, yeah I mean that's 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 that's, that's uh, pass protection that probably ninety percent of the NFL runs. Um, everyone runs like a weak outside zone or inside zone. So I feel like there's 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 every single team is going to have a play action off of that. Um, I just feel like Reddick wasn't really honoring the run at at all the entire game, and I feel like that was just kind of the perfect score, like the perfect storm on. You know the play, the, like the play call, and then also the the DN just not uh, like not reacting to the run cell at all. He just ran straight to the quarterback area, and that's just when whenever you're looking at a play action play, I mean you gotta be able to expect the D line to react to the run cell first before you know being able to have an opportunity to throw the ball after that. So I mean it's not. It's not on anyone. I, did, I mean, it's, it's definitely a, like just a play that was just, it's just, it wasn't going to be good from the beginning. Because of how he reacted. Just because of how Reddick played the play. And, yeah. and you said it kind of happened throughout the game. Was that just, do you feel the Eagles were going for broke there? They were kind of a high risk, high reward defensive strategy for, for from him to. Um, I, I don't, I, I mean, just, just, just because of their, their, their scheme in general, I feel like they've, they've allowed the outside guys to pin their ears back a lot more uh, at, at a higher frequency than other three, four personnel mm-hmm. defenses. Um, usually they have, they, like, they have to respect the run. They have to respect the play action. They have to respect certain, and then there's certain rules. Like you have to box the front side of like zone zone plays to your side, and you just didn't see him doing that. Mm-hmm. So um, I don't know if it was that game, but I don't. I mean, looking at looking at film study like the week prior, I don't know. I didn't see anything abnormal there. So it's I, don't, I, don't, I honestly don't know why it resulted in the way it resulted. But I mean, it's just it, it's just tough to see a play like that happen and have a guy that's been holding it down for us for many weeks prior get injured like that. Thank <laughs> you.